Today, I'm gonna be putting Ronaldinho back into the World Cup, but this time, he's a zero overall. Any goals, assists, and wins we get will give us points that we can use to upgrade Ronaldinho. So let's start with our first group stage game against Serbia. It's gonna be almost impossible to get Dinho to 99 overall before the World Cup final. Ah, oh, no, Dinho! But we have to get it done in order to save Brazil. Ronaldinho, this new generation of players suck. Please come back and save Brazil. And even at zero overall, Dinho was magical. He has no pace. Force it. Dinho! Dinho! Let's go! That's 100 points! For this challenge, every goal is 100 points, assist is 50, and win is another 100 points of attributes that we can use to upgrade Dinho. While his finishing may have been Lukaku level, Dinho was actually creating a lot of chances. Into Dinho! Oh, touch! Force it! Oh! Get that in. Oh, Dino, please finish. 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 There we go. That's another goal. While he wasn't able to complete the hat trick, Dino would get another assist and the win in order to get 350 upgrade points. And it only felt right to max out his dribbling, ball control, and stamina so that we could spam skill moves. And this was enough to get Dino all the way up to 32 overall. That was so quick. Now, even though we're top of the table, the games are only going to get harder and harder. So if you want to get Dino to 99 overall before the World Cup final, we're going to have to upgrade him quick. But next, we play Switzerland. Bro, that kit looks so nice on him. The kit may have been nice, but it didn't stop the Swiss from taking the lead. He finished that? How did he score that? Dino took it upon himself to create chances to help Brazil win, but nothing seemed to be going his way. Come on. I see that. I see that run. I see it. Finish. Fin Bro, what was that? But Allison was doing his fair share as well, and if it wasn't for him, Switzerland would have had a couple more goals. No, 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 no. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. What a save. But unfortunately, there's only so much that Allison could do. Oh, no. No! Dude, how is Switzerland so good? Now 2-0 down with their back against the wall. The Brazilians are doing everything to try to score, but Jan Sommer with a brick wall. Oh no, he has no pace. If I can somehow force this. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No! And to rub salt in the wound, Switzerland would score their third goal in the 90th minute to completely ice the game. I thought Switzerland was a peaceful nation, bro. These are war crimes they're committing. And because Ronaldinho didn't score assist or get the win, we get zero upgrade points. Which sucks because if we don't win our next game, Brazil is not going to the knockout stages. Which means that this next game against Cameroon is a must win game. Come on, Dino, I need you to deliver right now. Cameroon knew that Dino was our most important player and they even tried to injure him right at the beginning of the game. Oh, this is a legend you just fouled, bro. I don't know who that is, but Ronaldinho's hair is longer than your career, bro. That was a huge mistake because making Dino angry was the worst decision Cameroon could have ever made. Get it to Dino. Dino, outside the foot. Oh, what a goal. That's just class, bro. That's just class. As the game went on, Ronaldinho's brilliance was on full display. This man was breaking ankles and creating so many chances, I just couldn't keep up with it. Oh! Oh! That would have been an amazing goal! Even though we haven't upgraded any of Dinho's passing stats, he was still getting assists somehow. Oh, there we go! He has one passing and he made that cross. Let's go! And with the clock running down, Dinho still had a few tricks up his sleeve to ice the game off. This is magical! That's magical! Oh! Dinho! And that was enough for Brazil to get the win and for Dinho to get another 350 point upgrade for getting one goal, three assists, and the win. Brazil is now also through to the knockout stages, but first we need to make some upgrades. Using the 350 points, we maxed out Dinho's acceleration, sprint speed, and finishing, and then put 50 on agility. This got Dinho a plus 26 upgrade. It might say 56, but he's actually pretty decent. But now that we're in the knockout stages, we're going to be playing teams like Portugal. So if you want to get Dinho to 99 overall before the World Cup final, we're going to have to get a lot of upgrade points. And Dinho didn't waste any time to send the message to Portugal that he means business. There it is. Oh! Oh, he dropped the keeper. <laughs> what a goal. But when you're playing against the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, anything can happen. What? Ronaldo actually passed it? But if you haven't realized by now, Dino is him. Never count him out. Oh, this is it. That's a goal. That's a goal. Yes. Come on. We've taken the lead. That was beautiful, bro. Neymar to Ronaldinho connection. Oh, 
point. You've never seen anything like it, man. Brazil would go on to score another goal, but it doesn't matter because Dio didn't score or get the assist. We got caught up in trying to get Dinho a goal, and before we knew it, Portugal scored not one, but two goals. Things were not looking good for Brazil or Ronaldinho. Why is Ronaldo playing like he's in his prime? And then in the 85th minute, Dinho would get a chance to put his name in the history books. No! Oh, that was a chance! The game looked like it was over and heading into extra time, but then Casemiro sent up a prayer in the 92nd minute, and little did he know that it might just get answered. Please don't mess it up! Yes! We're going to the quarterfinals! He did the Messi celebration! He did the Messi celebration on Ronaldo! And with that win, Dino secured himself a huge 400 point upgrade. Dude, he scored a hat trick and he's still not mad at the match? These points allowed us to max out Dino's reactions, balance, and short and long passing. Which got Ronaldinho up to 72 overall. But Ronaldinho is going to have to give it his all because next we play Germany and we have to get a revenge for 2014. Like 21 Savage said, I'm going to spin the block like we're looking for somewhere to park, bro. Come on. Oh, get out of here, lad. Get out of here, lad. Come on. Come on, Rafinha. Rafinha, finish that. Neuer was making some amazing saves to start the game, but it wouldn't take long for us to start our revenge tour. Dino. Dino. Dino! That was the weakest shot I've ever seen, but we'll take it. Brazil was showing no mercy because the goals just kept coming and coming. Every player, including Allison, were doing their part to make sure that Germany suffered this game. Let's go, Rafinha! Rafinha! He makes it four. Let's go! Germany did end up getting one goal, but let's be honest, they're not going to win this game. It's already way too far gone. No more, though. And the Brazilians would shut down any chance of a comeback with this instant reply. Let's Let's go! That was enough to finish off Germany, and since Dino got two goals and three assists, he gets 450 upgrade points. That huge performance allowed us to max out Ronaldinho's shot power, vision, positioning, long shots, and put 50 on crossing. This was enough for a plus 23 upgrade to get Dino up to 95 overall. If Dino can get a solid performance against Senegal, we should go through to the final and get to 99 overall. Though Brazil was the far better team, they had a tough time finding the back of the net to start the game. I'm telling ya. I'm telling ya. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dino. On the volley! Oh, ho, ho, that would've been filthy, bro. But it was only a matter of time before Dino would wow us with another magical moment. No, that's offside? Unfortunately, it was offside, but like Justin Bieber said, never say never. Dino! Whoa, what a goal! Oh my days! But Senegal would shock the world and completely turn things around and start applying the pressure on Brazil. Oh my days, no, 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 no! <laughs> Bro, that's... Uh, they've tied it? How am I tied with Senegal? They speak French in Senegal, right? Bonjour, these nuts. Oh my... No! Brazil might have been trailing, but one thing I've learned is to never doubt Ronaldinho. That's how you make a statement, bro. And with the game tied, the country of Brazil was on Ronaldinho's back, and it was up to him to take them to the final. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Rafinha. Panenka, chip! Yes, we got it! I wanted that chip goal so bad! Come on! And just like that, Brazil went through to the final and Ronaldinho earned himself a 350 point upgrade. But is that enough to get Dino to 99? Well, we maxed out his free kick accuracy, penalties, volleys, and used 50 points to max out the crossing. And turns out, it is enough! Yes, we got to 99! But the biggest test is still ahead because in the final, Brazil have to play Uruguay. And if you made it this far, please hit the subscribe button. This is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. This right here. And Dino was instantly causing problems for the Uruguayan defense, and it was only a matter of time before he scored. Dino! 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 There we go on the volley! Come on! But the game had only just started, and Uruguay were quickly proving to us why they deserved to be in the final. What? How did he score that? To make things worse, moments later, I would make the biggest mistake of my career. I'm not going to put a player on the line. If he scores, he scores, bro. If they score, they score. Big ups to them, man. Why did I put a player on the line? No! After that goal, Brazil was really demoralized. But when you have a 99 rated player on your team, anything is possible. Finish. You have 99 finishing. Yes! Yes, Dino. I thought he messed it up. But 2-2... 
game on. Brazil was peppering the Uruguayan goal, but Uruguay just got one chance. I mean, just one chance, and this happened. Like, come on. Chill, fam. No. How's a retired Luis Suarez doing this? But the FIFA God would bless us just moments later. Pen. Penref. Penref. There we go. Okay. All right, boys. This is why I upgraded penalties 99 for this moment right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I fumbled it. I fumbled it. I fumbled it. I fumbled it. And when things looked over and done with, Lucas Pocketa would step up to save the day. Pocketa! There we go. He ties it in the 75th minute. And in the 90th minute, with literally the last kick of the game, Ronaldinho would make history. Ronaldinho in extra time wins the World Cup. And just like that, we would win the game and Ronaldinho would lift the World Cup for Brazil once again to restore glory to his country. If you enjoyed, make sure to watch this video down below where I did the same thing but with eyes show speed. Thank you.